Manchester City has been on the rise since the Abu Dhabi United Group takeover in 2008. They have won 17 trophies in the 15-year period and don't look to have a sign of stopping, but with more than 100 charges of financial rules breaches by the Premier League appearing this year against them, a dark cloud will follow them for the next few years until a decision is made on their fate. City before the takeover generally were usually mid-table in the Premier League and on the whole, in the shadows of their Northwest rivals Manchester United and Liverpool. There were even a couple of darker periods when City were relegated from First Division, but they always managed to bounce back however they never found themselves competing for a major trophy. Their fortunes changed when the Abu Dhabi United Group took over ownership after buying Thaksin Shinawat's controlling stake in the club in August 2008. For the next two summers, City rebuilt the squad, bringing in players like Yaya Toure, David Silva, Gareth Barry, Carlos Tevez, and Patrick Vieira. The first evidence of the owners' investments paying off came in May 2011 when City lifted the FA Cup after beating Stoke City by a solitary goal at Wembley. It was City's first piece of silverware in 35 years, their 10th in 131 years of history, and a hint of what was to come. Mancini City followed it up by winning the Premier League the following season, and his successor Manuel Pellegrini continued the success by delivering a Premier League and EFL Cup double in 2014 and another domestic cup two years later. That success has continued under the reign of Pep Guardiola, who arrived from Bayern Munich in 2016. The Catalan coach is by far the most successful manager in City's history, having guided his team to nine major trophies, including four Premier League titles in just six years. Considering it took City 136 years to win their previous four, that is quite some achievement. They also find themselves competing for another title this season with Arsenal. However, all this success has always been questioned by many. With several rival clubs' coaches and fans coming out to claim that all the success is due to the spending of the club and not just any spending but illegal spending. All these allegations were all without substantial proof until UEFA decided to give the club a two-year ban and from playing in Europe and a 30 million euros fine in 2020. This was after it ruled that City had committed serious breaches of financial fair play regulations between 2012 and 2016. The Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS, however said City did fail to cooperate with UEFA authorities but overturned the decision by UEFA's club financial control body, CFCB, to ban them. This time round the Premier League is the body charging Man City with breaching financial rules between 2009 and 2018. It also accused City of not cooperating since the investigation started in December 2018. The club is also accused of failing to provide accurate financial information that gives a true and fair view of the club's financial position and not disclosing contractual payments to managers and players. In simple terms, the Premier League believes Manchester City had been cooking its books through the years mentioned of 2009 through 2018. The charges have been referred to an independent commission and will be heard in a confidential hearing, the Premier League said. League officials declined to comment further on the statement or on the case against City. No date has been set for the hearing. It is unclear what penalties Manchester City will face if the league's charges are upheld. According to Premier League rules, teams found to have violated its rules face business penalties that could include reprimands and fines or sporting ones like points deductions in the standings or even expulsion from the top division. City said they were surprised by the charges and are supported by a body of irrefutable evidence. They claim they were not given advance warning of the Premier League statements. They also noted the timing of the statement given the white paper on football governance is about to be published. It is felt that bringing this case is likely to be used by the Premier League as evidence of them being able to deal with governance issues itself. The club and fans further believe that these charges are also a reflection of bad blood from other clubs which once before wrote to Cass in the UEFA case to make sure the club was banned from playing in Europe.
and so Manchester City are more than likely to continue playing the following seasons and win more titles with the good players and coach, but the curtain could eventually close on it if the charges stick. The club could be relegated from the Premier League and stripped of most of its titles which would eventually discredit all their success. The club has to continue playing and fight for trophies knowing very well it could all crumble down any moment. Man City are the club with the most uncertain future.